Four questions, four responses from the hungriest people on the planet. I'm Bo Mashaki. This is Four Golden Nuggets. Today we got Brenton Hess of Keller Williams flagship on the show to talk about the power of networking and the power of leadership, what leadership qualities are, and the power of living a big life. This is Four Golden Nuggets. I got a grind, won't stop, hustle, won't quit, shine like no other, I be on some other shit. I got a high price lifestyle, super bad, bad, if I want it, bet I got it, if I don't bet, all I gotta do is go, go, get, get, stay up by my bed. I just want to welcome Brenton Hess to the show. Brenton is an agent here at the Kel Williams flagship and the founder of the Real Estate Club Network, otherwise known as Reckon. Um, exactly the kind of person we love to have on the show. Welcome to Four Gold Nuggets, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. No problem. I know when I saw that um, Gary Vanderchuk event in April, that was like my first exposure to Reckon, so I was like, I got to get these guys on the show. <laughs> yeah, it was a wild event. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. So the first question is, you grew up surrounded by real estate. Um, your, both your mom and dad um, work here at the flagship, um, the broker and the CEO. So what motivated you to jump into real estate and what do you love about it the most? Yeah, of course. Uh, before I even get into that, I want to say that I am truly the biggest fan of Four Golden Nuggets. Since day one, I was like, man, I can't wait to be on the show. And you hit me up and you're like, you got to be on the show. I can't wait. So uh, for those of you who maybe this is your first episode or you've seen every single one, trust me, you want to go back to the very first one. Every single one, there are Four Golden Nuggets. There are more than that, just because the conversation keeps going on and on. So I'm the biggest fan. I'm really honored to be here. I appreciate it, Bo. And then as for real estate, what got me into real estate? Uh, like I said, I was born and raised in it, though my first job was with the government and I was doing accounting for them and that was my major in college, it's what my degree's in. And I really realized that every single day I was doing something that I had done the day before. And I wasn't building, I w it wasn't building towards something greater. And then through Reckon and, and a self-discovery journey, something I had never even gone through until, until Reckon, uh, we founded Reckon, I realized that my mission for life is helping create generational wealth, providing opportunities, and mentoring those that I'm in business with, my family, and anybody helping me fulfill my mission in life so that they too can wake up happy every single day, do what they love, and live a big life for their own. So with that in mind, I realized, well, this isn't the place I wanna be. Although it's a great place for many, for me, I wanted something that may be a little unsecure, maybe you want to make you like just take off your tie and just throw it and just because you're so every single day is like a whirlwind. Yeah. Though real estate I saw as my vehicle to building generational wealth, yeah. something even if it's not just financial wealth, but it's wealth, knowledgeable wealth that I can uh -huh. pass down forever. And every single day you feel like you're building on something new yeah. in real estate, especially investment. So I, I migrated immediately into real estate, but to the investment side. Yeah. And um, Josh and Stu, my business partners from the get go, we started flipping houses. Here we are about three years later. I just um, formed Campbell Capital with my business partner, Seth Campbell, Congrats. who's the regional director, thanks, with the regional director of Keller Williams in the Maryland, D.C. region. And what Seth's doing is incredible. He's building an entire empire, though his one investment arm is now led by me. And I'm really grateful that him and I are in business together. And now mm -hmm. we're building our, our, creating generational wealth and building our wealth through real estate and real estate investing and small business yeah. investing through Campbell Capital. Yeah, um, so it's, like you said, real estate is, is a little bit more insecure than other careers, but the the opportunity for growth and opportunity to make income is really unlimited. Um, also opportunity for self-development, and we get to do an amazing thing. We get to people live that dream, lifelong dream of home ownership. So. Absolutely, you're surrounded by people like yourself yeah. and mentors, and we're, I know we're gonna get into all that. Though, I mean, just the people are incredible, and any if you have any background, whether it's business or not business, it could be IT. You could build an incredible real estate business around IT. Yeah. If it's not, if you have nothing, no experience whatsoever in real estate, real estate's the easy part. It's what do you bring that's going to differentiate yourself right. from everybody else, right. so you have the biggest business possible. So for anybody who's just out there and want to explore opportunities, uh, it's one to explore. Absolutely. Right, and there's great opportunities for leadership, which leads into the next question. So you also grew up around leadership, you know, having a, a father as a broker here and mother as a CEO here. Um, so what, in your opinion, are the top leadership qualities? Like what makes someone a great leader? Yeah, I, to that point, I'm really grateful for my mother and father <laughs> that you keep uh, alluding to. And, and uh, thanks mom and dad for everything you, <laughs> you provided me. They're great leaders. Um, yeah. I'm surrounded by great leaders daily. 
um, and mentors and uh, I appreciate you asking me a leadership question and confiding in me as a great leader because I think I'm still 100% on this journey to being a great leader. Yeah. I try very, very hard. Yeah. I give it my all though. What I'm finding is one of the greatest leadership qualities that one can have, I'm um, actually have two that came to mind. Uh, one, the first one being caring about everybody to the deepest core who's, who you're surrounded with. So as you, can, as you remember from my first response that in my own mission statement, like my own purpose for life and why I'm here, I, ha I include the words business partners in there. So those I'm in business with or those helping me in my business, I see them more than just helping me with my business. They're helping me provide a vehicle for my family, for my kids and many kids to come. And, and I think that's way deeper than just helping me. So understanding that, I want to help them and their family. So I just want to care about them, learn to help them with their personal goals because if you really think about it, he or she who helps somebody hit their personal goals, like what's more important, personal or business goals? At least for me, it's personal. Yeah. It's my family, you yeah. know, it, it's, it's the family to come. It's everything yeah. that I want to do outside of business is more important to me than business. Business is my yeah. vehicle to helping me live the biggest purposeful life through my personal goals. So I want to help somebody hit their personal goals because I know that's what means most important to them. That's their family. So I want to help them hit their personal So I really care about everybody deeply that I'm involved with, even on a personal level, and I want to help them any which way I can, even above and beyond business. The other um, thing that came to mind, the other quality of a great leader, is one that's building a big enough empire and has a big enough vision, who's growing at incredible speeds to where that other people can build their empire inside of yours. Yeah. So what I mean by that is, if you are in business with somebody who's outgrowing you, then that might be a red flag. You wanna make sure that you're living a biggest life possible so that they can grow a big life into right. yours because the opportunities are endless when you're working together. So I'm nonstop every day trying to work on myself and my business and the people I'm in a relationship with is as a leader, I wanna have a huge empire with a huge vision so anybody could join and anybody could build their big life inside of mine, which together to me, that just means business partners. It doesn't actually mean like subordinate and insubordinate. I mean, it's. It's like we're, we're here together together. So I want to help them. They want to help me. And together, I, you know, one of my favorite, favorite quotes are you can go faster alone, but you can go much further with others. And I'd rather go much further with others. I really like that. That's a perfect segue into the next question, going much further with others. Um, so let's talk about networking. Um, so the Real Estate Club Network, which you're the founder of, um, it, it's all about networking with like-minded people. So why is it important to network with like-minded people on the same mission as, you, as you're on? Absolutely. So yeah, Reckon's mission is helping people fund their mission in life through real estate investing. And that's where I saw my vehicle. That's where a lot of my network is. So speaking of networking, I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am today. And you know, I'm still an infant level of where I need to be. Though I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am today if it wasn't for the people around me, the people I'm in network in my network, my mentors, John Newman, Seth Campbell, my parents, everybody inside of who's been a mentor to me either through uh, readings, like I consider Warren Buffett a mentor of mine. Right. Uh, right. He's a prophet. He's somebody that I study. Right. So there, are anybody, who, and I consider him in my network. As weird as that might sound. Yeah. But I'm learning from him and I'm growing from him. So yeah, I know the, what you mean. The, they say the average of the people that you spend the most time with. That's where you become. That's where you land. I want to keep surrounding myself with very hungry, like-minded, highly motivated, driven individuals. And I don't care if you're 17 years old or you, you know you're 80, you're 85 it's the value that we bring together as a network. So what's very important is that you just surround yourself with people on a similar mission as yours and you go for that mission. Um, because like we said, you can go further with others. And mentors, I mean, I talk about networking. When I think of network, I immediately think of me mentors. And it could be peer mentors, right? Uh -huh. So it could be people inside your network that are peer mentor. It could be somebody who's achieved what you want to achieve and they become a mentor. But I know like right now, um, I have a deal that was sent my way uh, and I'm looking to syndicate and find investors for it. I, I have no idea the, the legal ramifications, SEC regs, and all this other stuff that is involved with the syndication. So what did I do? I looked at my network, who's in there, and you know, I'm really grateful for uh, a mentor of mine who is now gonna help me f see through the syndication process and put uh -huh. this money together and make this investment happen for our investors and help them create generational wealth and in return so do we. So it's the network, it's the mentors, it's the peer mentors, it's everybody involved, but it's very critical, like you said, Bo, is to align yourself with the mission of them and you so that together you guys can achieve exactly what you've been set out to uh -huh. achieve. Yeah, so surrounding yourself with um, peer mentors that are on the same path and then mentors who are already successful have already achieved what you are looking to get. I really like that. Absolutely. 
So Reckon is also about bringing a, a community of people together to strive to live a big life. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to live a big life and what, can, what steps can we each take to live a big life? Absolutely, uh, great question. To me, a big life just means what's a, a purposeful life. So what is your life mission? Now, like Bo, you and I could both be living a very big life, mm -hmm. though completely different in many aspects. Yeah. A big life to you, what a big life means to you could be what a big life means to me could be completely different. Though it's important, it's critically important to identify and define what a big life means to you. And what that essentially means is why are you here on this earth? What impact are you gonna leave? What legacy yeah. are you gonna leave? Yeah. Every single day, what are you working towards? Who are you willing to fight for? What are you willing to fight for? What are your values? What is the vision for your life and the vision for those people around you? You have to ask yourself all of these critical questions to really delve deep into, okay, why am I here? Why do I have the opportunity to be of existence in this mm -hmm. world? Like, why am I? Why do I get to be the physical substance in this yeah. spiritual world? It's an, it's incredible opportunity. So, what's my purpose? Yeah, what's my purpose? Absolutely, what's my purpose? What am I fighting for? Who am I fighting for? So, with those things in mind you kind of identify okay why am I here then once you identify why you're here you want to live that life to the maximum to the fullest you want to get every little every piece of juice out of that lemon that we call life and that's why you know that's why we define big life we say big life is and you want to identify your life and then you want to make it as big as possible and reckon like you said reckon is really devoted to because like we said earlier reckon helps people Reckon's mission is to help people fund their life's mission through real estate investing. Yeah. But in order to be able to fund your life's mission through real estate investing, you need to first identify what your life mission is. So we definitely take a step back. We do a, I mean, there's a lot of masterminds, a lot. You gotta really dig deep. It's something hard. I mean, you don't just wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I know why I'm here on this earth. It's always changing. You know, I never know right. what kind of curveballs you could be it's throwing. Evolving. It's always evolving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it could, and it should always evolve. Because if it's always evolving, that means you're always thinking about it. You're always right. outgrowing right. who you thought you you were who you were actually at that time so yeah it's a never-ending evolution uh, I love that actually it's a never-ending evolution for sure <laughs> yeah so knowing what your life mission is knowing what your why and your purpose is and then really going all in on it knowing what your values are yeah absolutely I really like that I very much agree with that and Brent I want to thank you on the sh for being on the show um, I want to congratulate you on all the success and the epic things you've done already and the epic things you got in your future man you got a bright future ahead of you i appreciate it. this has been an incredible opportunity